do you think this is in process of getting to some maybe even even better technology, even more creativity? I mean, what do you think this can bring us? Yeah, so it can bring so much. And we're actually seeing a lot of this now from programs, AI programs that can detect de diseases far quicker, figure out how to support crops in developing countries. There's many, many uses of this. But let me give you some examples of, for example, the deep fakes. Imagine having school children having the real Einstein, what looks like the real Einstein, explaining concepts. Oh, Marie Curie, you know, explaining findings um, as that person. That's kind of a powerful use of perhaps of these. Also, um, people have actually used these to, whether rightly or wrongly, it depends on choice, but to mimic people that have just passed away and to kind of be able to talk to that person more. So ethically, there's, there's different ways of kind of managing this that they're being used for so many different ways that maybe that's what people would like to see. But going back to the examples of Einstein being able to explain concepts, that's kind of a, a great use of these tools. I'm gonna actually go on to the other side though as well with thinking about the creativity. So the lot of these tools are drawing from past products. So many may say, well, that's not very creative because it's just drawing from the past. However, it's doing it in a unique way that's not replicating. It's like we could always grab things from the internet and pull them in. So that's not very creative. But the way these generative AI are working is it's forming it a different way. So that's kind of a um, new creativity in a way. But it also allows people to do and be more creative. I, I cannot draw. I'm not cr good at creating images, but it helps me be creative and that I can produce images um, that I couldn't produce on my own.